right, finally got the plates on the Cherokee. Drove it probably a good amount, maybe an hour, actually, in total, driving it around. And it is driving really, really good. I am really impressed. Um, I did stop and get the check engine light. As you can see, you get the check engine light on. And all of that's coming up is an O2 sensor on the exhaust, which is totally freaking awesome. I already knew that wasn't hooked up. Um, I didn't know if it would throw a code or not, but apparently it throws a code. And yeah, I can live with that for right now. But it is for sitting almost a year. So I bought it back in August. And the previous owner had said it sat for like six months, which I suspected it was longer than that. But regardless, though, it's pretty much sat, we'll say, almost a year and no issues. Driving really well. Pretty noisy, but I already know the exhaust system on this is pretty shot. So, but... I can deal with that a little longer as well. Um, yeah, that's totally awesome. So, I just want to mention Axle Deep is... I, I got some pointers from the TJ Help Desk on Facebook. Uh, it's a Facebook group. Some of y'all are probably part of it. But uh, I, I had inquired about the Rough Country... Uh, ball joint the upper one and they gave me some pointers on how to fix that and uh, so wish rough country would have just emailed me back and, and let me know that it was my fault but they didn't and it is my fault I mean I, I'm not a mechanic so I, you know it could be a procedure that a normal procedure that mechanics do you know the, the rough country directions didn't say to do some of this stuff but I'm gonna try doing it um, how some some of the folks on there had uh, mentioned because um, I did get another rough country ball joint set in and the upper ball joints are the same I can I can twist them so the fact that two kits are the, exactly the same has to mean it's probably my fault. So I'm going to try a couple of those tricks. That'll probably be the next video that I post. This one's going to be, let's see, it's a little short. Yeah, it's going to be a little short, but I just wanted to give you guys an update that I'm going to start driving around this Cherokee and, uh, Get it broken in so it's almost got 200,000 miles on this thing and it's a rust bucket I don't know that there's any fixing a lot of the rust that's on this now that I'm, I'm finding issues but uh, I am going to drive this for as long as I can and uh, I've got big plans for this Cherokee Project Bravo um, but that's going to be a later video the main project from here on out unless I come up with little things I got to fix on Project Bravo but the main project is going to be Project Axle Deep which is the Wrangler 2003 Wrangler uh, update on that is it totally needs a whole new frame so I'm going to have to do some research there's a place in Indiana that uh, they buy up Jeeps from this looks like from all over the, the country um, including southern Jeeps so that way the frames are in a lot better condition and start from the frame However, this summer, I think I'm going to drive Axle Deep, uh, enjoy the summer with it, and then in the fall, 
uh, start this huge project of changing its frame out. And at the same time, I'm probably going to change the torque boxes in it because most a lot of them are shot on it, and uh, that can become dangerous. But for now, I got my Cherokee up, the Pro Project Bravo, and I will be sporting this thing uh, until I get Axel Deep back up. So, thanks for watching, guys. Listening to me ramble a little bit, but I'm happy to get Project Bravo out on the road and roadworthy and able to drive it around. So without any huge issues so um, I'll be making a list of things that I'm finding on on Project Bravo because I do notice there's a click when I turn the wheel when I drive a certain way there's one pop it sounds like it's coming from the pat, uh, driver's side uh, wheel so there's probably something in there either wore out or broken and but my first thing on this thing is going to be uh, its tires so its tires are dry rotted I already switched one out I'm going to end up switching the others out uh, eventually um, but two of the tires